Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. I want to talk about the two bucket system again. Oh Scott, stop it. You talk about the two bucket system all the time. We already know you don't like it. Well, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about the science of the two bucket system. This science is going to be very easy to follow along. It won't be all that difficult. Just hang tight with me. Put your critical thinking cap on and we'll make it through this process pretty quickly. Basically, I've got my wash bucket, right? I don't have them marked. I don't buy those fancy wash bucket, rinse bucket. I'm a pretty smart guy. I know which one's my wash bucket, which one's my rinse bucket. My wash bucket is on the left, right? Or on your right, however you're looking at this. Who knows? But it's over there. My rinse bucket's over here. It's got... It's sitting right here to the right of my wash bucket. Watch me do a two bucket system and I'm going to go through this step with you and tell you and show you how you may be indirectly changing the dilution ratio drastically of your favorite car soap and as you work around this car your soap is getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Watch this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a hose. I didn't want to break out a power washer and break out 10 other tools. I'm just going to rinse off my vehicle. I want to get off the light dust and dirt, right? That kind of makes sense, right? Nobody can argue with that. Try to get as much junk off the panel before you start. That's really cool. You don't want to scratch the car. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my favorite wash mitt. Why do I like this wash mitt? Well, it's something around, I don't know, 8 by 8 inches. It holds a tremendous amount of fluid, holds a tremendous amount of suds and soap. So I'm going to go in here and dip it into my soap bucket with my favorite soap. I'm going to go over here and wash my panel, wash my car. I'm going to be really gentle, right? I don't want to scratch the car. That would be silly. That would be crazy. I'm a professional detailer. I'm going to work my way all the way down the panel, right? I want to work in straight lines. I'm going to work all the way down to the dirtiest part of the car last. And when I get to the bottom of the panel, I'm going to take my wash mitt that holds, this is important, holds a tremendous amount of water, tremendous amount of suds, tremendous amount of soap, and I'm going to go into my rinse bucket, right? Because I've got my grit guards in there. God, we got to have these grit guards, folks. I don't know what we would do without them. But I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to rinse off my mitt. I had a guy on my channel tell me sometimes he sits here for three minutes, rinsing off and making sure he agitates his mitt completely for about three minutes before he goes back into his soap. Hey, listen, if you want to do that, that's cool. But this is the way most people will use a two-bucket system. They'll go in, they'll drag it against the grit guard, they will pick up their wash mitt. It is holding a tremendous amount of fluid. This thing probably holds half a gallon of water. Who knows? Now what you're going to do is go back into your soap bucket. Folks, what have I just done wrong? Why is this not the best science in the world? I'm going to explain it to you. Folks, each time you dip into the rinse bucket to get the dirt off your wash mitt, you're filling it with a tremendous amount of water. Your wash mitt's holding that water, right? You're now going back into your wash bucket. You are changing the dilution ratio of your favorite car soap. Most likely a pH neutral car soap that's one ounce per three gallons or maybe two ounces per five gallons. I don't know what you guys like, but that's cool. The pH neutral car soaps, in my opinion, the surfactants within them aren't the best surfactants of removing stuff like traffic film off the car. Really bad grease and grime. So each time you're rinsing your wash uh, mitt off and going back into your wash solution, because it holds so much water, that wash mitt, you're drastically changing the dilution ratio that you started with in your wash bucket. As you get around this car and you keep continuing to rinse and dunk back into your wash bucket, you are very, you're going to have less surfactants within your wash mitt, less surfactants within the soap. The cleaning ability is going to go down and down and down as you work around this car. I know there's going to be some Yahoo that says, Scott, I don't do that. I take my rinse I take my rinse bucket, I dip, I agitate it, I then go over here and flood it, rinse it out. Listen, if that's you, that's cool. I honor that. You see the bigger picture. But 95% of people, if not more, in my opinion, are simply going to, because I see it all the time. I watch YouTube channels with you guys as well. I watch people just go into their rinse bucket, the wash mitt's holding a half gallon of water, and now they're going into their solution, their wash solution, 
and changing drastically a pH neutral soap, which in my opinion isn't, doesn't have the best surfactants to begin with, and you've drastically changed the dilution ratio. Some of you are paying $40 a gallon for car soap, and you're not getting its full effective you know, cleaning power because of a two bucket wash. This is just a simple science. Sit down, let's talk about it. I'm sure somebody out there is gonna dispute me. You really gotta make sure, if you're the type that's wringing out the wash mitt, after you rinse it off, all the power to you. I guess washing your car turns into an hour project. That's up to you. But be very careful. The two bucket system is absolutely diluting the strength and the power of your car soap over time. And as you get to the end of this vehicle, you may not have all that much surfactant in your wash solution to effectively clean the car. I love you all. This is one of the many reasons why I don't like a two bucket system. There are better ways out there. We'll discuss them as we go further. I love you all. Hopefully that makes sense.